Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to my channel. This is Straight Facts Commentary where I give you my unpopular opinions in everything pop culture. So please, please, please stick around and subscribe for more. Hey y'all, I am back again with another video and in today's video, you see the title, you see the title, we are getting ready to start a new episode of Straight Buzzer Topics where we're going to be talking about female rap, pop culture, and little segments. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and let's get into the video. The first topic in today's video is going to be about Megan Thee Stallion and apparently this woman. Um, I don't know who this rapper is. If somebody want to tell me, like, who she is exactly, um, she's real mad. She's real mad because she put a diss track out on Megan Thee Stallion, which essentially was just, like, Bigfoot 2.0. She basically was saying most of the stuff that Nicki Minaj was saying on Bigfoot and throughout her tweets, but she decided to put out a random diss track. I'm like, who is this woman? Where did this come from? It was so random. I hadn't heard Megan mention her. I hadn't heard fans of Megan or any of the rap girls mentioned this woman so I'm just like this just feels really random and dumb like I'm not <laughs> I'm all here for a little rap beef situation or like a little back and forth like I'm here for that but um this is random it's kind of come out of nowhere and it looks real hater ish when some random person that we don't even know is coming out of the woodwork to bash someone else without any context behind it whatsoever as far as like girl who are you Girl, who are you? Nobody knows who you are. Like, why did you think that this was going to come off as some sort of a slay? It's not a slay. <laughs> like, um, it's not a slay. But anyway, I'm going to play a tiny snippet of the disc because, like, I can't play the full thing, first of all, because of copyright. And second, I wouldn't even want to play the full thing anyway because it's stupid. Let me ride this little horsey, giddy up, giddy up. Y'all done gassed up her head and now she running them up. Running them she up. was naked, drunk, begging Carl Crawford to fuck. Lame. Lame. Like, <laughs> Really? It's just, like, if you're gonna be, like, coming out with a diss, okay, but, like, be original. Like, she's literally, like, just repeating all of the same stuff that Nikki already said about Megan. Like, it, it's giving, like, running behind, monkey see, monkey do type of- I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, it's just cheesy to me. Like, really? Why? I, it, <laughs> and as if Megan's gonna respond to you. So what do you get out of this? I guess you get some attention because blogs are gonna post it celebrity gossip channels and commentary channels like myself are going to post it you know so I guess you get your five minutes but it's like I, I don't know it's cheesy and lame to me first of all love I didn't expect your precious Megan to respond because she's pussy it took her almost what 10 months to respond to Nikki I didn't expect to respond this is an artist's purge because when you have a manager who goes behind your back and give all of your deals and your whole fucking rollout that you and your label been working on for months out of your fucking budget and give it to the bitch that he's fucking it's a problem and I'm gonna check the bitch who needs to be checked okay okay pumpkin goodbye oh wow that's even more lame okay so I'm gonna humor her say it's true say Megan was doing that and he did give you know her deals to Megan as a result of Megan effing on somebody effing on one of the people um that sounds like something you need to take up with them <laughs> not Megan even if that was true it's not Megan's fault that they're not giving you the stuff they're supposed to give you yeah well okay if that happened that happened I'm not saying it happened but I'm saying if it happened to happen <laughs> okay that's something she needs to take up with them but if you go drop an entire diss track on her because of it you should be writing a diss track to your producer or your label owner or whoever the hell you're talking about you should be writing a diss track to him not to megan because you're mad that you didn't get something that you felt like you were supposed to have like that's lame that's lame like that's that's jealous it's lame it's unfortunate um and you know anyway it sounds like a personal problem. Okay, so next on the docket is Young Miami. Um, so some videos are going viral, like resurfacing of Young Miami because of the whole Diddy thing. So obviously we know what happened. She was mentioned as doing XYZ in the court stuff. I did make a video on that. If y'all haven't already, go watch that. Um, but there are videos going viral about her now because of it. And it's like basically shedding light, more light on what young Miami's lifestyle and mentality was 
and it kind of puts together how she ended up in uh, the situation that she ended up in with Diddy because of the different things that she was caught saying or doing in interviews. I never snitch on Diddy. Never. I hold a brick for Diddy. Snitch on a bitch for Diddy. I just had a conversation with somebody the other day. I said, I'm really, like, I'm more like with a, with a W. Like, I'm more. But define that, though. Like, I'm more. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that clip, I instantly remember because I remember I seen that interview a long time ago. I was like, oh, shoot. And when I watched the interview initially, um, all that time ago, I was just like, what the hell? <laughs> but I thought she was joking. I thought she was just being funny. Like, she was just be like, oh, yeah, I'm a whore. Like, you know, because, you know, I do freaky stuff in bed or something. Like, like that's what I likened it to. But no, she was dead ass. <laughs> what? For her to have been dead ass serious, allegedly, allegedly, according to court documents, hmm. That's pretty telling. And there's a bunch of stuff going viral in regards to Young Miami, you know. Then the whole clip about her and the whole um, she liked to get peed on thing was going viral again because it's like, mm, you know, it just brings more light to the whole situation and the lifestyle that she was living and leading. And um, it's really sad. A lot of stuff with Diddy is going viral too. Past stuff of him in the 90s and stuff of people he was with and stuff he was saying and it's just it puts all the pieces together like a gigantic puzzle of fuckery and um sad stuff sad stuff all right moving on so next on the docket 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 is miss getting paid doing uh doing time so, uh, uh, i'm a zodiac in the, uh, <laughs> oh my god it's me trying to do the lyrics when you know damn well i don't know them um i don't listen to rich tivity i'm doing rich shit uh uh pretty bitch shit but anyway anyway um so sweetie was doing like an interview or something like that apparently and she was talking about how she be getting sleep paralysis really bad and that the house she grew up in <clears throat> excuse me or whatever like that had demons and all this stuff and i was just like oh girl please don't <laughs> oh my gosh like i got scared i got scared just listening to her talk about it. i don't play with none of that i don't know how I was set up to be this involved with the spiritual world. So for one, like the apartment I grew up in had a lot of paranormal activity. When I go to sleep at night, if I'm not sleeping next to somebody, I have to play gospel. I have to play gospel music to this day. To this day, wow. or I'll get attacked. Like wow. that sleep paralysis. Like I'll get yeah. that. I but I get that every time if I don't play gospel music when I sleep. That's wow. Uh huh. So you always got to make sure road whatever. Like for you. If I'm by myself, yes, I have to play it because I'll get it. Like, I don't know what that's called and I got to do more research. Right. But, and when um, you say a text, sweetie, what do you mean? Like in my dream. Right. Like, you know, when you can't wake yeah, up yeah, yeah. and you feel like somebody's sitting on top of you. Yes, man. Like, it's, it's real. And especially when I started like meditating more, I feel like the stronger I became spiritually, the more I started getting a text. Um, so that just tells me that you know based on what she said in that interview that just tells me that she needs to go on ahead and um cleanse out her house or do they you know that kind of stuff that type of stuff be on clothes it be on different types of things uh tv shows videos uh movies that you watch on television you have to go and if there's something going on in your house there is something in there that you need to go on ahead and get rid of um because that shouldn't be happening you, you shouldn't have to sleep with church music on just to be able to go to sleep without being you know spiritually attacked like you shouldn't have to do that you, you know what i'm saying that shouldn't be something you need to go and check and see what is going on in your home period also another point is if she's still with yg <laughs> if she is still if you guys know anything about yg that man is demonic as hell like if you go listen to some of his music watch some of his videos like his older videos i don't know about his newer ones i forget because i don't listen to yg so i don't even know how i ended up seeing his stuff or hearing his stuff but that man is demonic as heck like she has to know that it's partially probably coming from him um and who knows there's weird stuff going on in the industry it could be coming from her <laughs> who knows um and also just being cognizant of what you got in your house in general and what you're doing in your house in general and like what's going on because no and i think she should start with yg if she's still with him because he is a big ball of 
demonic just period um so that's unfortunate to hear but <laughs> anyway next is miss jt Oh, so pony got me looking at him sideways. It'll never be the same motherfucker all days. I ain't friendly. I don't fuck with y'all bitches. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I love doing that now. Like I love like doing that now because I'm so stupid. But anyway, so apparently Miss JT was getting called out on Twitter because you know everything that was going on with Young Miami and how allegedly, allegedly Miami was doing pink coconuts coconuts falling from the tree coconuts and um allegedly people were trying to say that oh jt was doing that stuff too um because of a video that they found of her that was one viral a little bit <laughs> it's gonna take for a bitch to knock your teeth out one time <laughs> just playing babe Mm -mm, nobody ain't knocking my motherfucking seat out, bitch. I don't even say that. Oh my god. The way Young Miami was looking, if you go back and play the video again, but focus on Young Miami, her face. You could kind of tell. Uh, look, I'm not trying to say JT is doing this, that, and the third, but that looked really suspicious. Like, it really did. Like, if we're going to be honest, that looked so weird. The sniffing, her head being down away from the camera, and then. It sounded like rummaging on the table. It, she could have been messing with something on the table. But, like, if you see Young Miami's face and she paused and she kind of had, like, this straight kind of face look to her, it looked like she was, like, looking, like, kind of surprised a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too deep into it. But fans have pulled up that video. And then um, JT had responded to it, basically knocking down the rumor saying, no, she ain't never did that, and she was saying that her family, you know, her family got destroyed by that, and this, that, and the third. Now, I'm not saying she did it, but the video looked bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna even sit up here and cap. The video looked bad. She had sunglasses on. It looked like maybe she's hiding her eyes. I don't know, but, like, the video was pretty incriminating. She said, first of all, I was in the halfway house being drug tested every night when I went in. I explained this years ago. I never did uh, coconuts and I never will. It actually destroyed my family. Y'all get on here making jokes about ish for shits and giggles. Don't know people post trauma. Stop playing with me, please. So even after she went to defend herself, there were still fans in the comments who were saying, I don't know, girl looks kind of funny. She was going off on them um not only that but there were also people in the comments saying that they would still love her even if she did do it and it was just a mess um y'all let me know what y'all think about that okay next is cardi b cardi b cardi b so apparently her and rihanna were linked up recently at an event um i think it was an event held by jason lee and basically people some people were upset by this because as we do know, Rihanna and Nicki Minaj are close friends. And Nicki Minaj always praises Rihanna and talks about her all the time. They've hung out. You know, they're both mommies. And, you know, so everybody was just like, oh, why is Rihanna hanging around Cardi B? And da 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 da, -da. And it's like, oh, this is so exhausting. Rihanna has been, like, way, way early, 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 early in Cardi B's career. Rihanna always showed cardi b love like from the beginning of cardi b's career so this isn't new so why do people think that all of a sudden that's gonna maybe it's because you know they assume everybody who is connected to nikki is gonna hate cardi and that's just simply not true like not everybody who's connected to nikki hates cardi b <laughs> they want they want that to be the case but that's just simply not true like beyonce doesn't even hate <clears throat> cardi b and beyonce likes nikki minaj she just sent her some whatever she just sent her a, a flowers a note something like that um you know and it's just it's annoying it's exhausting because it's like it's like people can't be individuals you have to like pick sides and this and that and it's team this and team that and uh, it's like guys people have lives and thoughts and feelings and uh, personalities and friendships outside of Nicki Minaj like, can we just stop with it? It's just annoying. It's so annoying. It's like not all Stan related beefs make it outside of Twitter for some people. You know what I mean? But anyway.
that's it for this one guys please show me some love in the comments and through the likes to let me know if you like me doing this so that i know how often to do it and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye, bye.